gonna hang out. What are your plans today? I'm gonna hang out. You're hanging out here the whole day? Probably till at least one or two. Until when? Probably one or two. Okay. Now I want the chores done and I'm considering having you move. Where? Mm -hmm. Why, what happened? Because David, I, I, I'm so tired of the way you talk to me. I tell you that there's an issue and then you just wanna go back and forth. I walked me. in the door. You, you ask me what happened, you want me to finish talking or you wanna constantly interrupt me? Okay, go ahead. I was in the middle of a board meeting yesterday. I have a big project I'm doing today. I have things, I've got a new contract, I've got all kinds of that going on. I don't need you coming in here and interrupting me when I was very kind and I said, David, don't interrupt. You continued to do it and did it your way. Then you got in the middle, talking about are these some funny brownies, just kept going. I wanted that meeting to be done and over. I was there for 10, 15 seconds I'm getting not, a paper. We're not debating how long you think you were there. We're debate, we're, what we're discussing is that you interrupt me and it was enough. And then you just kept going back and forth about it. She was not here till 11 o'clock. She was here at 9.45 because I was on the phone with my pastor at 10. He came in at, at 9.28. He came, I know what time he came he, in. And not, it was 9, like 18, something like that. Because I looked at him like And then she's like, what's that big crip in? And all the other stuff and blah, blah, blah. I don't want to, you don't have to replay the message to me. I know exactly what she said to him. I was standing there. And then, because it was past 10 o'clock. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to argue with you but about you it. you are arguing with me. I'm telling you what it is. And she was gone before 10. Regardless if she was here even after 10, that's not your business. I'm not I'm not trying to argue. All she was not here after 10. All I did was sign the paper and I walked straight into my room. That's not what you did. I sat there and talked to you guys for two seconds. She wanted to introduce herself to me. Because you kept interrupting. So she <sighs> said, but she goes, who is this? You don't have to agree with me. I don't even care if you agree with me. I am telling you what happened and that's it. We were talking and I did not want you interrupting and you kept interrupting anyway. She asked you, who were you? Because you kept being so damn arrogant and kept interrupting. So she's like, who is this? Well, I apologize if I was there for too long. I tried to beeline into my room. I was just trying to be courteous. It wasn't the be there too long. It was what you kept saying and you was making. It was not the time or place for it. I was trying to finish up a meeting and be done. I've been in meetings all damn day. She couldn't make it to the end of the day for us to go over stuff. She's a board member. I had to review some stuff with her for today. I wanted to get it, in, get it in and get it done. I did not want to sit there. I was already exhausted. Then you come and joke and I'm telling you, not now, David. I wanted her to be done and so you can go home. But when you went there, then we had to discuss who's that. And I said, well, that's the kind of clients we're going to be having. We're going through that again. But you just kept interrupting. Oh, what are these funny brownies? Then you said, then you, when you leaned in front of, when you leaned and got on the table in front of both of us and leaned in the middle of us, I thought, I have never in my life, in the middle of a meeting, that's what you do? Why would you do that? Why would you sit in the middle and just lean over and make jokes right in our face like that? Like that's what, I'm in a meeting. You make it sound like I was there for 30 minutes. I don't care if it was one second. You're not supposed to, if someone's in a meeting, you think that's okay to do? If you're in a meeting with your boss, how do I know who nothing? she is? You, if you're in the living kitchen, you're in the kitchen. I walk through the door. Hey, how you doing? Hey, I'm trying to be courteous. I said I'm, I'm in a meeting. I'm trying to be courteous. I said I was in a meeting. And then, and I was like, is there any way I could do my laundry? Even if it's my, mom, if, I don't care if it was my mom. I don't care who it was. You really think it's okay to just sit in the middle of it and make a comment like that? You think obviously you did think that was okay. Obviously you did. I apologize. Okay. I was trying. I asked. Now, all I wanted. All I wasn't even that. I wasn't that close. You were. I, no. You were right in <laughs> I was. I was asking you if I can do my laundry, and you're like, "No, I'm doing my laundry right now." Blah blah blah. I'm like, "Okay, that's fine." That's all. I was. I was sitting there waiting for my time to talk to see if I can do my laundry. I was sitting there, and you're like, "Mm-hmm. What? Okay, what do you want? You know? It's like, okay. Well, geez. All I wanted to do was do my laundry and go in my room. And this morning, I was gonna dry it and fold it up, and then I'd be out of your hair around noon. And that was my plan. I wasn't trying to hang don't out. Just work on your plan, does it? Obviously, no. It never works on my plan. Nothing ever works on my plan, ever. I'm trying to be the quiet, low pro, out of your hair, all those other things. I was there for th you. You guys were talking to him way longer than you guys were talking to me. I don't care. I'm not talking about Daryl. 
Gerald did not come in and be rude and interrupt my damn meeting. You were rude. You got in the middle of my meeting and you did not, you going to make jokes about- I waited about until you acknowledged me. I waited till you acknowledged me, and then I put my request in there. At, until I, at once I acknowledge you, what you did after that. I'm not arguing with you. Okay. I'm not doing this. I'm asking you in the future, do not ever. Do oh. not interrupt my meeting. Do not get in the middle of my conversation. Do not make jokes to me in the middle of me having a damn meeting. I'm not going to say nothing whatsoever. I'm going to go straight there, straight into my room, close the door, go to sleep, wake up, out the door. And I want this chore done. I am tired of asking you to clean up your damn chore. I'll do it right now. I am tired of it. I'll get up. I shouldn't have to ask you to do your chore all the time. Just do your damn chore. I know. I swept this yesterday. No, I was in a mop. Don't do it. You're, did I say something? You don't do you, it. You were leaving at 9 o'clock in the morning. You're like, you got to go. One, no, you, you were up on that phone since 7. No. Okay. I will do get up there right now, and I'll do it. I'll re-sweep it again. I'll re-mop it, and we'll be out of here. And do your chore more than me just saying it. Do your damn okay, chore. Okay. Okay. I'll do it right now. I'll Not get up. just right now. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it right now. Is what I'm I saying. I understand that, but do it on a regular okay, basis. Okay. Okay. Okay.